Hey everybody, so it's Sparrow. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another first impression of what's new video. And mine's is about the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. Um, straight up gotta admit to you guys, I haven't worn concealer in a long, long time. Um, and I really wanted to get back into it because I have not been sleeping a lot. And I know I do wear concealer like on my eyebrow area. You guys know about the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealers, H the HD ones. And y'all know how I feel about those. How I sort of feel about them. But I need one for my under eyes since I am not sleeping as much as I would like. So I grabbed this one based off of the fact that my friend always was raving about the Radiant Creamy. But I always was thinking about the fact that I mean, like, I'm oily as it is and creamy products tend to kind of... I have really creasy under eyes because I have not, you know, I smile a lot, so I have lines from smiling, and it's like, I'm not going to get Botox anytime soon, I'm too young for that, so instead I was just like, well, let's look for a concealer that's not, and then one day I watched the Jackie Aina video where she compared the Radiant Creamy to the Soft Matte, and I ended up deciding I was going to get the Soft Matte. So this is $30 for 0.21 ounces of product, and that's... For this little jar, and it's the and it's like the NARS packaging kind of jar. Now I'm gonna show you how much I've gotten into it. Yeah, got into it. So far, I'm really liking it. I tried it out a couple times. It's good for cleaning up my brows, and we're gonna show you how it looks. But the important places are your under eye and any kind of places on your face where you're trying to cover up. You need a little more coverage, less discoloration. So I'm gonna show you guys the soft matte on my under eye and on my like mustache area for the area that I usually color correct but I didn't color it correctly today so instead we're going to use concealer to do the same thing and I'm using, I use a just regular concealer brush to apply it to my under eye area and then I'll use, and then I use a makeup sponge to blend it out for the most coverage with the least amount of disturbing it and then usually I set it with powder but I'll do that off camera so I kind of just take it on the brush and then Got it on my under eye area. And now I'm zooming in on this side so you can see exactly how blendable this product actually is. Because it is really, like, compared to, like, Radiant Creamy where it's, like, you know it's creamy because it's always creamy. This one, it's, like, once it warms up, like, on your skin, it blends so nicely. It kind of just melts into your skin with minimal uh, work involved. So yeah, you can see my dark circles are basically concealed and everything looks hunky-dory. So now we're just going to show you uh, concealing this kind of dark grayishness around my mouth area. So I'm taking it on the brush again and just shake it in around my mouth. Of course this would be easier to do if I wasn't already wearing the lipstick, but you know what? Who says we, you know, do things by the rules here? I do. I always do things by the rules here. There you go. Alright, so as you can see, it blended under my eyes amazingly. Like, it, even though it's in a pot, most pot concealers are either really stiff and dry to the point that you end up like it drag, you know, you're digging it out the pot, you gotta warm it up, add oil just to get to blend out on the skin or it sticks in places and creates dry patches or you get a really extra oily formula and instead it kind of, it just smears everywhere and doesn't create like an, an even canvas or you get an oily composition uh, kind of con pot concealer and it kind of just slides around on your under eye area and doesn't really cover anything. And I love that it correct it can correct my mouth area and my dark circles without the need for my orange corrector, but you know, I'll still go into it. But this is a bomb ass concealer. It blends out with your fingers, it'll blend out with a sponge, it blends out I haven't tried the only thing I haven't tried it with is like a brush to blend it. Because I always like my under eye area is really sensitive and I don't have any like fluffy brushes that I like to like buff that area in. But I'm going to tell you that I also cleaned up my eyebrows with this product and I also cleaned up my wing liner with this. Since I've been pretty undecent with eyeliner recently, I kind of just, I've lost my touch, okay? So uh, getting this on was a little bit of a struggle. But again, concealer usually saves you. So what are like the cons of this product? Because I've been talking about how much I like it, how much I like it. Um, well, it's $30. I don't like that it's $30. 
if you don't like if you're not warm enough to wear the NARS shade range in the first place you're gonna have you're gonna have a bad time fortunately Amande in the radiant creamy and in this um, soft matte are actually my skin tone and yellow enough for me without being orangey warm because normally most things from the NARS shade range are just too warm like they're my skin but they're just too warm for me to wear which really sucks when you really want to wear a product so it's kind of like oh, just it, it's really good that there's at least concealers from that brand because it's such a really pretty brand and I like it a lot so I'm actually not wearing any powder so um, excuse me if I'm extra shiny in your opinion but anyway I really really have a good first impression of this product because and it took me a while to buy it so you know that happens with me where I don't buy things until they're like actually like I'm 99% sure I'm gonna like it and I like it a lot um, in comparison, like Radiant really Creamy, I think I would have bought this, a, like, I had the choice of buying the Radiant Creamy or this, because this one was hard to find, and I still bought this one because I just feel like Radiant Creamy is going to be too liquid on my under eye, and I'll have to, like, set it with powder for sure, versus this one where I kind of don't have to set it with powder. It sets itself a little bit, and then I just add a little bit of powder just to make it let last a little bit longer since I know I smile and I crinkle my eyes a lot. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this first impression of the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. You want me to try Radiant Creamy? Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and leave that down in the comments area. If you like me and all the other content I make like anti-hauls, reviews, um, more first impressions, and then sometimes tutorials, you can go ahead and just subscribe. Let's do the thing and have some fun here. Maybe I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye!